Let's do an oil change on this 2014 Subaru Legacy. outdoors and today just going to do a basic oil change on this 2014 Subaru Legacy. All right so starting off what you're going to need is either ramps of some sort or a jack with jack stands however you are going to jack up your car. So <clears throat> besides the oil in the oil filter which I'll get to in a second you're going to need a drain pan here of whatever or a bucket or whatever you got some sort of a funnel. A light always helps you are going to need a 17 millimeter socket and an oil wrench and then maybe some paper towels, whatever you got. So I'm a big believer of oil's oil. Uh, put whatever oil in your car that is going to help you sleep at night. I really don't care. So right now we're just going to use the Super Tech. Um, the 2.5 on this uh, Super Legacy calls for um, 5.1 quarts of OW20. So you see I got OW20 here. And ironically, most of these are just uh, five quarts uh, chugs. So you're going to need to pick up a one quart chug also of the same exact uh, oil weight there. And just use it a little bit at a time to get that 0.1 to top it off. Every oil change will last you a couple oil changes. So, and it's good just to have. Oil filter today, also, I'm going to just stick with the Super Tech. It calls for the ST6607. I've ran Fram in here. I've ran uh, Purolators, ran a couple other things, and the car runs just fine. So let's get into it. All right, go ahead and pop your hood. Come over to the driver's side of the vehicle. You'll see where the battery is right here. And just to the left of the battery, you're going to have your um, oil reservoir cap. And you're going to see on it, it does say OW20. You can get a good picture of that. And that is the correct oil weight for the vehicle. And conveniently, right next door, we do have the oil filter. Remove the oil cap here, just for easy draining. And uh, let's get underneath the vehicle. All right, guys, coming underneath the vehicle here. As you can see, I have my jack stands in place. Make sure you use them. I have my oil drain pan with cardboard. Cardboard is your friend while you're doing this. This is the oil pan. And you have the bolt we're going to have to remove to uh, drain out the old oil. So, like I said, this is a 17 millimeter socket. All right, so once you break it loose here, you can do the rest by hand. You're going to try catching the bolt before it just goes right into the oil pan. If not, no big deal if you got a oil pan versus a bucket. And you'll feel it give, you're going to... Have some oil start to drain. There we go. All right. As the oil is draining here, as you can see, here is my drain plug. You should have a washer on it. As you can see right here, there's a little washer right above the flange there. So that washer is extremely important. That's what's going to help oil not spurt out after you tighten it up and have an oil leak everywhere so you can see it coming off right there if you do not have this washer make sure it didn't fall into your drain pan or it's still not on the uh, oil pan itself um, if you don't have it go get one all right now that i clean this up um, while cleaning it i was just looking for any um, metal shavings, anything that's going to alert me that there's a problem that I cannot see. All right, now we're going to remove the old oil filter, which remember it is right next to the cap we took off earlier, um, where we're going to put the new oil. This is your oil filter. Go ahead and use a oil wrench or whatever you got to remove it. Remember, lefty loosey, ready tighty. Should be able to get that off with one turn and slowly do the rest by hand. There is no messy oil all over the place. That's what I do love about Subaru. So you can see we have a black gasket on there. That's what we want to remove um, 
And if you don't see this black gasket on the old oil filter, check and make sure it's not sitting in the uh, in that area still. So we're going to clean this area up. Use a paper towel. All right, brand new, never used. All right, so before we go ahead and install the new filter, go ahead and take some of your new oil and put a little oil on the bead all around. And this is just to help the seal. So coming back up top, after we have a cleaned area, go ahead and reinstall it just hand tight. And now let's go back underneath the vehicle and check it out. All right, so right now, after the oil has drained, you're gonna have a little bit of residual, which is fine. Go ahead and just clean up that area with a paper towel. And go ahead and reinstall the oil plug that you cleaned up. And again, I can't stress enough, make sure you have that, um, that washer on the outside. So after you hand tighten it, go ahead and give it one more little clean up there. Tighten that up a little bit more. All right, let's go put the new oil in. After you tighten up your oil drain plug and you put the new filter in, uh, it's time to put the new oil in. So go ahead and use a oil funnel of some sort. I highly recommend using an oil funnel unless you are feeling really brave or lucky. So put that in there and add in your initial five quarts of oil. Now it's time to add your 0.1 of the 5.1 quarts. So after you add your 5.1 quarts, go ahead and remove the oil funnel and reinstall your oil cap here. This needs to be hand tight, nothing crazy. All right, now that you added your new oil, go ahead and do a once over really quick before starting the vehicle. Make sure this is on hand tight. Uh, make sure there's no leaking underneath the vehicle right now and make sure your oil drain plug is intact down there. So go ahead, back your vehicle out of the garage or at least just start it in a safe area and we're going to come back and make sure everything else is okay. All right, so after you go ahead and start up your vehicle and it sounds like it's running nice, make sure there's no leaks around your new oil filter and come underneath the vehicle you see there is no leaks down here and we are all good so go ahead and take your vehicle around the block once or twice and make sure everything's driving okay and then we'll check the fill line of the oil all right so we just came back from our test drive we're just going to check the oil dipstick really quick go ahead and wipe off the old excess put it back in there and let's give her a little look. A little hard to see, but we are all good. All right, guys, that's it. The oil change on this vehicle is super simple. Anybody can do it. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, make sure you just bring it somewhere or have somebody that feels comfortable uh, does the oil change. Just make sure you're doing it every six months or 6,000 miles. Write it down on your phone, any reminders. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like anything, Fishing Tractors Auto 2A or Freedom, check us out, realamericanoutdoors.com, Facebook, Instagram. Subscribe and like to this uh, YouTube channel and uh, check out our Spreadshirt store for some sweet apparel. We're in full ice fishing mode, so keep tuned for those videos. Thanks, guys.